Well, thank God it's Friday, right? Another week has come to an end. And that means the weekend is coming. I love weekends because weekends include Sunday. And I hope you're going to join us this Sunday, 9 o'clock or 1030, live and in person at either our Gaylor campus or our Sault Ste. Marie campus. Or join us online, live, 9 o'clock and 1030. Well, uh, this morning we want to look at another beatitude. That's what we're looking at this week and next week in our morning check-ins. They teach us how to live a blessed life, how to have an inner contentment, in spite of outward circumstances. Now, we've already seen three of them. We've already seen blessed are the poor in spirit. We said that's a life that depends on God. Blessed are those that mourn. We said that's a life that detests sin. Blessed are the gentle. We said that that's a life that disciplines self. The next one is my favorite one. Verse 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Now, those words, hunger and thirst, very intense words, very intense. They don't describe someone whose stomach right now is growling because you haven't had breakfast. This describes someone who literally is starving to death or someone who's about to die because they have no water. Now, here's what God says. You'll experience a blessed life. When you have that strong of a desire for righteousness. To know God's word and live God's word. That's what righteousness is. It's knowing God's word and living God's word. And when you desire righteousness with the same intensity that a starving man desires food, you will discover a blessed life. How much do you desire to know God's word? How much do you desire to live God's word? Because this beatitude describes someone who lives a life that desires righteousness. So let me pray for you right now. That today, your desire to know God's word and your desire to live God's word would grow in intensity. Father, I thank you for your word. It is a lamp to our feet. It is a light to our path. And I pray, God, that all of us would grow in our intensity of desiring your word. Help us to desire to know your word like a starving man desires food. Help us to desire to live your word with the same desire that someone who is dying of thirst desires water. May that become true in each of us today. Grow our desire for righteousness that we may experience a blessed life. A life of inner contentment in spite of outward circumstances. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you'll have a desire to know God's word this weekend and that you'll join us Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, and 1030, either in person or online for E-Free Church's worship service. I hope you have a great weekend. And then we'll be back again Monday morning and we'll continue our look at the Beatitudes. God bless you.